Lesson 7172 Word Problems. To solve word problems involving ratio and proportion, it's gonna be fun. Yeah. Alright, so we're gonna solve problems involving ratios and proportions. It's gonna be fun. Here we go, let's solve some. Together there are 180 players and coaches in the town soccer league. If the player to coach ratio is 9 to 1, how many players are there? Hmm. Well, for every single coach, there's nine players. So when you see this ratio, you can say, well, there's nine X co players and one X coaches. So I throw an X in there because if I reduce this guy, if there's a nine X to one X, no matter what this X is, it'll cancel out. It'll give me the nine to one ratio. So when I put an X in there, that turns that ratio looking thing into an actual number. Now 9X is the number of players. 1X is the number of coaches. So the number of players plus the number of coaches will equal 180. Solve the equation. 10X equals 180. X is 18. So if I'm going to find how many players there are, well, 18 times 9. Because the number of players is 9 times whatever our X is. So remember, when you solve for X, you're not done. Here we go. Let's do another one here. Um, when I set these ones up, I'm not going to solve them all the way. I'm just going to get you the initial setup. Ling drives a car 18 miles per hour faster than Eddie. The ratio of the distances they can travel in one hour 30 minutes is 5 to 2. Find their rates of speed. Well, we know we have a rate distance time problem, a rate time distance problem, right? So we're going to set up a rate time distance chart because we like to do this. So here we go, setting it up, rate times time equals distance. So what do we know? Ling's driving 18 miles per hour faster than Eddie. The ratio of the distance, we have a ratio of their distances, that's pretty cool. And what else do we know? Distances they can travel in one hour 30 minutes. So they're both traveling one hour 30 minutes, which is one and a half hours. So the time for both is three halves. Or I can say their times are equal. Their times are three halves. The rate that one travels, right? Oops, sorry. The rate that one travels is 18 miles per hour faster than the other one. And I know also that there is a five to two ratio in their distances. So could I say that Ling travels five X and Eddie travels two X? Hmm. I guess I could. And now look at this. Hmm. Can I get to here? From there? Let's see. Well, if rate times time is distance, isn't distance divided by time rate? Sure is. So I'm going to do 5x divided by 3 halves, which is the same thing as 5x times 2 thirds, right? Let me see. 5x divided by 3 halves. Isn't it the same thing as 5x times 2 thirds? Sure. So I get 10x over 3. For that rate, same thing here. I'm going to get 4x over 3. And what do we know? It says Ling drives a car 18 miles per hour faster than Eddie. So this is 18 more than this. So if I have Eddie's rate plus 18, won't that be Ling's? So that's what I'll do. Eddie, 4x over 3, plus 18 is going to equal Ling's. 10x over 3. Multiply both sides by 3. Hit the LCD. Solve for x. You found x, which is this little piece here. Find the ratios of their, find the rates of their speed. So put that, whatever that x is in here, multiply it by 10 thirds. By 4 thirds, you're done. Here we go. A collection of dimes and nickels is worth 560. The ratio of dimes to nickels is 3 to 2. So that would be the number of them, right? Um, it's 3 to 2. Find the number of each coin. Cool. So again, remember how we do coins. We do the number of coins, the value, and the total value, right? Well, I know the number, the ratio of the number is 3 to 2, dimes to nickels. So this would be 3x, 2x. These are worth 5. These are worth 10. Well, I have two columns filled in, so I can call the total value 10x here. 30x. That's nice. And I know that the 
the collection of the whole thing is worth 560. So here's my equation. The, to the value of nickels plus the total value of dimes equals 560. My equation is 10x plus 30x is 560. So 40x is 560, solve for x. Almost there, right? See this one. At a fixed rate, an interest of 4,000, an interest, uh, it should be an investment of 4,000, earns 210. Um, or at a fixed rate, it should be of interest, $4,000 earns 210. How much do you need to invest at the same rate to earn 336? Well, you can look at it like this. Money, the ratio of money to profit will stay the same. So let's see. 4,000 is to 210 as what number is to 336? You want to earn 210, you need 4,000. What do you need to do this? Cross multiply, right? Divide. So you get 210x equals 336 times 4 grand and divide by 210. Find your x. Isn't that nice? All right, let's look at another one here. A survey was taken in a town with 18,000 homes. Of the 360 homes surveyed, so they, a survey was taken and the, the town had this many, but they surveyed 360 homes. Of the 360 homes, 48 had computers. Based on the survey, estimate the number of homes in the town with computers. So let's see. Number with computers. Or say the computers, uh, the total houses. So let's see if that, the, you know, you're gonna, if you're going to estimate, you're going to say, well, if 48 of the 360 had computers, about how many of the 18,000 will? Cross multiply, end up dividing, and you find out what your x is. So if 48 of the 360, then how many of the 18,000? So you're doing setting up a proportion. Okay. Map problems. On a map, one centimeter represents 10 kilometers. Wyoming is a rectangle on the map that's 44.5 centimeters by 59.1 centimeters. Find the area of Wyoming in kilometers squared. Okay, so let's see. Um, 44 by 59. Well, I know that, let's see, map to real will be the same. They gave me the ratio that. Let's see, um, on a map, one centimeter is 10 kilometers. So, map, one centimeter is 10 kilometers. So, this has 44.5 centimeters. How many kilometers is that going to be? And we also can set up one centimeter to 10 kilometers. 59.1 centimeters equals how many kilometers? We're trying to figure that out, right? Cool, kilometers and all that stuff cancels out. How do we solve? Cross multiply x times 1 equals 10 times this is 445. And here, x times 1 again is x is 591. So I found out that rectangle that, uh, that looks like this on the map for, that measures 44.5 centimeters by 59.1 is really a state that's 445 kilometers by 591 kilometers. So I multiply to find the area, length times width, that times that, and that will give me my square kilometers. And that's generally how we set it up. Map problems generally look like this. Map units to real units equals map units to real units. Be careful though, because if you see a two by two map, Right? And I'm telling you that every one of these, if I say he has a 1 to 10 relationship, don't think that the area here, so if this is 2 centimeters by 2 centimeters, on the map would be 4 centimeters squared. That doesn't mean it'll translate to 40 square kilometers. Be careful. It actually goes to 400 square kilometers. Because 20 kilometers, 2 centimeters, will be 20 kilometers. 2 centimeters will be 20 kilometers. 20 kilometers times 20 kilometers, kilometers is? Yes, 400. So be careful when you're using your maps, all right? Have a nice day.